why is protein so important? One of the most important things that our body needs in order for survival is one special macronutrient, protein. Protein is essential for the growth, recovery and regeneration of muscle tissue, and without protein, we would die. This has been proven, with a number of diseases and other illnesses proving to be directly related to protein deficiencies. Not only can protein deficiencies cause malnutrition, not having enough of the right proteins in your diet can lead to such health issues as colon and breast cancers, cirrhosis of the liver, heart disease, as well as low blood pressure and a low heart rate, and countless other problems. One health issue that is caused by protein deficiencies is thrombosis. This is a condition that has been heard about much in the news lately, with a number of airline passengers actually dying because of it. Protein contains amino acids. The body is able to build and use thousands of amino acids, but there are 22 essential and non-essential amino acids that can only be found in healthy food sources, with animal foods providing the largest amount of protein per serving. Some vegetables are also good sources of protein, especially beans. Dietary sources of protein, when you are eating a healthy, well-balanced diet, you should be getting the right proteins, and enough of them, to maintain a strong and healthy body. Eating the right diet, and getting plenty of protein, will help you to avoid a number of serious health issues, even the ones mentioned above. There are a number of delicious foods that you can incorporate into your diet to get the protein you need, and these foods are good for you too. Some of the tastiest foods that are really protein-packed include, nuts, everyone loves nuts, and even though many people think of them as just a tasty snack, they're an exceptionally good source of protein. Of course, if you want nuts in your diet, the healthy way to go is to get them unsalted. They're better like this anyway, because you don't have all that salt taking away from the natural flavor of the nuts. And, make sure that your servings of nuts are small, because they are loaded with calories. To avoid extra calories when using nuts as a source of protein, try eating almonds instead of cashews, which are just as high in protein, but lower in fat and calories. Peanut butter, this kind of goes along with nuts. Because peanut butter is made from peanuts, which are high in protein, it only stands to reason that peanut butter is also an excellent source of protein. You can get a double shot of protein if you eat a peanut butter sandwich made with whole grain bread. It can often be difficult to get kids to eat healthy foods, but by giving them peanut butter sandwiches, if they won't eat whole grain bread, get the new whole grain breads that look and taste like white bread, you can be sure that they will be getting the protein they need to build strong muscles and have plenty of energy for playing. Beans, just about every type of bean, from black beans to kidney beans, are loaded with protein. In fact, one of the foods that is highest above all others in protein is a bean, soy. And, because it is a vegetable protein, it is great for people with allergies. So, enjoy your beans and wieners, because you are getting a meal that is absolutely packed with protein. Meat, fish and poultry, all of these foods are great dietary sources of protein. A regular 6 ounce serving of any cut of beef provides about 7 grams of protein. Of course, if you are really health conscious, you will choose lean cuts of meat. Pork, poultry, and fish also provide at least 7 grams of protein per serving. Milk products, here is one of the best dietary sources of protein. Whey and casein, proteins used to make protein supplements, are milk derivatives, and are some of the most popular sources of protein supplements. And, with milk products, you have so many delicious options, such as cheese, cottage cheese, yogurt, or just a plain old glass of milk. Types of protein supplements, there are many sources used for protein supplements, and even if you have food allergies, there is still a protein supplement that will work for you. There are many types of protein supplements, snack bars, including powders, liquids and capsules, which can be used as snacks and meal replacements. Some of the types of proteins used in supplements include whey, soy, casein, and rice. Whey protein, because it contains all 22 of the essential and non-essential amino acids, whey is considered to be a complete protein. Whey is a milk derivative, and is a bee product left over from the cheese making process. Because it is a milk protein, people who are lactose intolerant, or allergic to milk, should avoid whey and opt for a different source of protein, such as soy or rice. Casein protein, this is another milk derivative. Actually, casein is what whey protein comes from in the first place. But, because it is a milk sugar and not a milk protein, most people who are lactose intolerant are able to easily digest casein. Soy protein, soy is a great alternative for vegetarians, and people with intolerances or allergies. Soy protein is another complete protein, and it contains no saturated fats or cholesterol. It also has a low glycemic index, so it will not cause a rise in blood glucose levels. Some people may find that they are unable to digest soy well, and may want to try another one of the popular types of supplements. Rice protein, here is a protein that is hypoallergenic, so it is ideal for people with allergies, and those who are lactose intolerant. It is gluten-free, and is great for dieters, because it is low in fat and carbohydrates. Rice protein is available in powdered form, and works well in most recipes.